Hey guys, as always, thanks for tuning in. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to update your Pixelcade LCD marquee remotely without having to re-image your SD card. So the first thing you want to do is head over to pixelcade.org, go over to the download section, click on Windows, and get the latest version of the Pixelcade LCD software. Go ahead and download that. I'm gonna skip that since I've already done that on this machine. Now also, if you happen to be on Bodicera or some other Linux variant, just go over here, click on download, click on Bodicera or Mr., whichever one you happen to be on, and you'll see some updates, some instructions there on how to do this from uh, Linux. But for this one, we're just gonna focus on Windows. So you've downloaded the latest version of Pixelcade, you've installed it. If you've already have the Pixelcade LCD software, just install over the top. So go here and let's look for Pixelcade LCD. And you wanna look for this icon that says Pixelcade LCD Updater. So click on that one and then just simply hit start. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna remotely connect to your Pixelcade over your Wi-Fi. You can see there, it's gonna show you a message on your Pixelcade letting you know what's happening. So right now it's doing a download. The time of this recording, this is a pretty big update. So this, this download is going to take a little bit. So just let that run. Okay, once it's downloaded, it's then going to extract the files onto the internal memory of your Pixelcade LCD. Now, also just a note, this does work on both Super, paid, Super Pixelcade LCD, which is 1920 by 360 resolution, as well as the lower resolution version of Pixelcade LCD, which is 1280 by 390. So this, this will work on both. All right, so once you see update complete and it says update complete on your Pixelcade, you know everything is done. The other thing you can do, and just, just to show you, so if I were to run this again, it flags that the version. So for example, if I run it again, it will tell you that you already have the latest update. So you can run this if you want from time to time, but we will post this on our various sites, but it'll show like this. Your pixel kit is already updated, so you know you're, you're good to go. So um, one other thing here, if you have your Windows Defender firewall turned on, very likely Windows Defender will catch this program and it won't work. So if you have Windows Defender, you do need to turn that off before you run this program, unfortunately. It does some networking things that unfortunately gets flagged. So also, if for whatever reasons that didn't work, you can always run this from the command line and that'll give you some more information what's going on. So just go to your Pixelcade folder if you wanna do that and just type in lcdupdate.exe. That's the manual command line way to do it. And this will give you some more information. Again, here you can see we, we're already updated. Um, but if you need to put in a support uh, support issue, definitely do this first and then show us what this looks like and that will help us troubleshoot because um, we've seen that on some different networks things behave a little bit differently. So that's definitely one thing I would try. But now that we've updated it, let's show off all this cool new artwork. So in this case, I'm running Hyperspin, but you, know, you may be running Big Box or whatever front end you have. And let's browse around. Let's take a look at some of the new artwork here. As you scroll through Neo Geo CD, those are all new, so you can enjoy those. Let's see what else is new here that we added. There's a bunch for Nintendo Switch. So if you've got Nintendo Switch going, you'll see all those marquees. Thanks to uh, one of the users here, Ben, he added a bunch for Windows. So these were mostly done by Ben. So most of these Windows games have marquees now. This is this particular, uh, this is specific to the Arcade One image. Lots of great artwork there. We also made some updates for Pinball Arcade. So as you scroll through Pinball Arcade, you should see updates there. Zinc was another one. So a lot of these 
have marquees where they didn't before. And then also racing games. So we did a lot of work on these. So most of the, of the games on the racing games wheel should have artwork. Batman in particular, that one was missing last time. That's now there. Also gun games. And then specifically this version, again, this is specific to the Arcade One image, but um, we've added a bunch for the Sindin wheel for gun games. So you'll see most of these have marquees. And there was the prior gun games wheel, so that's still covered as well. Did some for Naomi. Not all of these have artwork, but we did cover a few Naomi ones, which was missing last time. Also did some for Techno Parrot. The Singe Wheel. Updated quite a few of these also. Daphne was already there. Uh, the Capcom wheels, those were actually missing before. So those are all now updated. Let's see, four player, that was also missing before. So you'll see matches for most of the games on the four player wheel. And then the main vector games was also missing. So this update also updates Pixelcade Companion, which is pretty cool. So that means you can browse all of the new artwork from the Pixelcade Companion web user interface. So go back to Pixelcade LCD Marquee and look for Pixelcade Companion. That will then launch a browser and then you can just go here to browse marquees and we can browse all of the new artwork. All right, so let's say for example, we wanna see all the driving games. I can click on driving games and then here's all of the artworks. So I can just click on one that I like and that will then display it on Pixelcade. There's a Daphne Singe wheel. There's some new ones there. This latest artwork update added a bunch of new PC marquees or windows. So you can see all those here. And also there's a bunch of Switch ones. Those are a lot of new ones, quite a few there. So yeah, that's how you can just see the latest and greatest also from this nice um, web UI here, Pixelcade Companion. All right, well, as always, thanks for tuning in. I hope you guys found that helpful and always we do appreciate any feedback. Thanks a lot.